In this problem, we are given a polynomial and we're asked about tangent properties. When is the tangent line flat, meaning when is that slope zero? And what is the tangent line equation at x equals one? So let's start, in almost any problem in calculus class, you're gonna to need to take a derivative. So let's first start by finding what is f prime. Derivative of four is zero minus derivative of x squared is 2x to the first, or just 2x. But that negative sign stays there, so our slope, or f prime, is negative 2x. All right, part a, when is the tangent line flat? The slope of the function is f prime of x, and I want to know, when is that slope zero? So f prime of x is negative 2x, just computed it. Uh, this is an easy equation to solve. Uh, multiply both sides by negative a half, and you get x equals zero. All right, so that is the answer to part A. Uh, if they asked when is the tangent line have a different slope that's not zero, I would put that number right there. If I was asked when is the tangent slope four, I would put a four in there instead of zero, and then solve for x. Occasionally, uh, you could have a higher degree polynomial that could have multiple x values giving you a certain slope. So it's not always gonna be one x value. All right, part B, tangent line, but this time we're given an x value. So remember a line, the best form is point slope. And that is why, uh, let's go ahead and the y naught on this side equals m x minus x naught. m is a slope, and x naught y naught is a point on the line. And I'm going to go ahead and add y naught to both sides. All right, that is uh, probably the most useful uh, form of a line because uh, the one you're used to using y equals mx plus b requires a y-intercept, and generally you're not going to have a y-intercept. This one, uh, an x value of 1, y-intercepts have an x value of 0. So generally, uh, the point-slope form is the best. All right, we need a slope. Remember, slope is f prime of x, which is negative 2x. We calculated earlier, and now this is at x equals 1, so we're plugging in 1 for our x value, negative 2 times 1, negative 2. So that's our slope right there. Now we need our x naught, y naught. We need our point. We already know the x value is 1. That was given, so now we need to find the y value. And we have our original function, 4 minus x squared, that's how you turn an x value into a y value. So our y naught is f of x naught, which is f of 1, and our function was 4 minus x squared, 4 minus 1 squared, which is 3. So our y value is 3. So our x naught y naught is 1 comma 3. And we're ready to now fill in uh, this formula. So our slope was negative 2. x naught was 1. y naught is 3. If you really like uh, mx plus b form, no problem. Distribute your slope. Negative 2x plus 2 plus 3. All right negative 2x plus 5. However, this is the best form, so just use it. Okay, let's go look at what this is on a graph. So I have already our original parabola graphed. Now we can have the other graph right there. And you can see 1, 3. Uh, is this point right here, 1, 3. It's, to me, it's much easier to see it in that form. Uh, if you zoom in, 
the red curve and the blue line start looking more and more similar. And if you go in far enough, you can barely even see the red curve anymore. Now, uh, they do have slightly different values, but the closer you look to the point, the more similar the tangent line and the curve will look. So it's what we call linear approximation uh, for the curve.